the Cancer and welcome back to my channel and this is your December reading for 2022. I can't believe we're at that time of the year already where your December reading is coming out. Okay Cancer, I'm going to very quickly tell you about my books. I'll put a link in the description below. If you have a look at my uh, home page on anything spiritual, you'll see a link to my author page. My sister also has a channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. Okay, Cancer, we're going to pull a few cards out for you and see what the month of December holds for you. Now, straight away, we've got the Page of Swords out, the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Page of Swords... Swords can be the pack in the tarot that when people can be a little bit sneaky when people can be a little bit deceptive it tends to be the sword cards that's come out now this person's holding their sword up here and he's looking towards the king of cups there he's watching that person okay cancer now you are a water sign so is this you is somebody watching you, Cancer? Is somebody spying on you? So this is quite interesting. I've not really had this sort of thing before, but it certainly looks like somebody's got their eye on you. Somebody is watching you. So perhaps there are single um, Cancers out there who would like to hear that and think, wow, I've, perhaps I've got an admirer. Perhaps for some of you, it could just be, I don't know, a family member or a friend or somebody who just likes to cause a little bit of trouble and they're watching what's going on. But we do seem to have this person who seems to be watching or spying on you, Cancer. We're going to keep pulling cards for the rest of the reading, but I want to pull another tarot card on there and clarify, why is this person watching you? What is it? Perhaps some of you have already got a feeling that somebody's paying too much attention, somebody's sticking their nose in, in your business. Perhaps some of you already got an idea who this person is. But let's pull a card to clarify the spying. Two cards have come out, so we may as well have it. We've got the Five of Swords there. Now, when that card comes out, again, it's it's somebody It's not very happy. It's negative. So this is a negative person, I feel. Probably somebody who's got a lot on their mind, too much on their mind. But you would think too much on their mind. They would sort of be interested in their own business. Perhaps they're trying to take their mind off of it by looking at you, looking to see what you're doing. Perhaps they're also copying your ideas. The Three of Pentacles is about advancement forward. So for some of you, just be careful that this person watching you is not actually copying your ideas. They're copying what you're doing. Perhaps you don't mind. Perhaps you're more than happy to share your ideas with somebody. But for some of you, it may be that you're not. So there's a person around you who definitely seems to be copying what you're doing. You seem to be taking steps forward in something and they've got their eye on it. They are watching you. Okay, so we've got all your cards out here now, Cancer. So an interesting reading already. So for the month of December, we do have this person who seems to be watching you. Now we've got the Knight of Wands out there as well. And again, work, wands can be work, they can be sort of creativity, they can show things sometimes sort of starting and finishing. But this person, you can see they're quite sort of sporty, they're quite energetic. I do tend to feel when that card sort of comes out, it is to do with changes. So there is some sort of change that you need to put in place, Cancer. It could be dealing with this person. It could be you may want to change what you tell them, how much you let them see, how much you let them in. But overall, you're not letting this bother you. We've got the Nine of Cups, okay? So when you make this change, you're feeling happier. So I feel that we start off the month in December with this little worry and concern that someone's watching you, somebody may be stealing your ideas. You're making some sort of changes and it's making you feel happy. You're sort of celebrating that change is what you needed to do. So when you make the change, you are going to be feeling much, much happier about it, okay? So a definite change is needed regarding somebody who you feel is spying on you, watching you. 
we've got that justice card out you're bringing balance okay could also be legal things for some of you but i do feel that you are making sure that everything goes in your favor you're making sure that somebody does not take from you and we've got that queen of swords out here now this is can be somebody who can be a little bit selfish they can be a little bit self-centered but again just watch out for them it can also another card it, again to signify somebody talking about you so it could be that though when you've made this change and I feel you're kind of pushing this person out trying to keep them at bay they may not like it they may be a little bit of gossip they may be telling people do you know what they pushed me out they kept me away And you've got the devil card here, okay? And you can see this person trying to beckon you on. So this is, the, the devil card is sort of telling you, you're not going to be anyone's puppet on a string. You're not going to allow this devil person, um, and okay, they're obviously not really a devil, but you're not going to allow this negativity. You're not going to allow somebody to be watching you, talking about you, seeing what you're doing. So in the month of December, Cancer, you may be keeping things away from a certain person, not telling somebody some information, keeping things to yourself. You're going to feel happier when you do that. You're going to feel more balanced and you're going to feel a lot happier within yourself when you know that you're not letting your information get to this person. You're not letting them know about you. You're not letting them spy about you. They may have something to say about it, but you don't care because you're not going to be their puppet on a string. You're not going to allow them to control anything in your life. Wow. Let's have a look at a guardian angel card and see what your guardian angels, what message they have for you for December 2022. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, like, and comment. It always helps the momentum of my channel. I was wondering when a card was going to come out. And your message from your guardian angels, Cancer, is the five of thought. And it says, the path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you feel happier in the end. Changes are necessary so you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining and who bring unwanted drama into your life. Well, can you believe it? If any card matches this reading, perfect, it's this one. Again, it's telling you there's changes. It's telling you to avoid negative people in your life who drain you. So this person who's been hanging around, who's been watching you, who's been draining you, you are going to feel happier when you get them out of your life. And it's telling you that you do need to make changes to keep this person away, this negative person. The negative person is the devil. We said you're not going to allow them to for you to be a puppet on their string. So cancer, you just need to get this negativity out of your life. You just need to make a change. Get the person who's spying on you, who's draining you, to keep them at a distance and make yourself a lot, lot happier. You will be happier. The cards in your, the tarot reading are saying it. Your guardian angel message card is saying it. It couldn't be any clearer. Your message for December 2022. Okay, let's have a look at love and relationship cards because a lot of people like to know what's happening with love and relationship because this reading could be about friends, could be about family, could be about work, could just be general things. So a lot of people like to get to know what's going on in their relationships and you've got religious factors your love life is influenced by your upbringing your religious upbringing and your spiritual path getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so in a relationship cancer okay it may be that some decisions and some things that you've been doing are down to your religious factors and your upbringing so speak to each other get to know each other talk to each other and your bond will deepen and it may be that again you may have to make changes in your relationship you probably don't even realize you're doing certain things that you're doing but again i feel it will benefit your relationship and for single people it could be that you're sort of keeping yourself single because of 
particular religious factors and because of your upbringing and it may be that you just need to just get to know people relax get chatting get to know people and you never know what might happen okay cancer a lovely reading for december don't forget the links in the description below to my books and my sister's channel and I'm going to put an end screen on here for your year ahead for 2023 so if you want to know what's happening to cancer in 2023 click the next video that's coming up on the end screen thank you for watching